Okay, so in today's video, we're going to have a, a very brief look at what actually comes in the kit. Uh, one of my most commonly asked questions is what does the kit come with? Uh, there's a few pictures and bits and pieces online, but I thought I would uh, do a quick video so we can all have a look. So starting with the main event, this is the uh, bow housing adapter, as I like to call it. And then you've got your adapter plate, specific to the K1200, this one is. You've got your clutch and flywheel. Your release bearing. Input seal. Selection of nuts and bolts. And your very pretty looking, newly modified starter motor bracket. start with the adapter plate. This here will bolt to what I call the bell housing of the engine um, and the starter motor bracket then will bolt on up here like this I do believe. And on the starter motor bracket you've got two threaded holes there I believe they're M6 for the starter motor to bolt to. Uh, they've changed the design of this recently this is the first one I've seen it's actually really nice much more aesthetically pleasing than the last one. So this here is a uh, bow housing adapter. Um, so this will then bolt, you remove the bow housing from your imp gearbox and this should bolt together here. Very nice bit of kit. You've got the uh, removable plate in the bottom for what I believe is usually setting up the backlash and the preload. It's very good. You've got the hole in the middle here. So obviously your input shaft seal will go in there once it's all built up together. And this is your uh, sequentric slave fits in there like that and then you've got three bolts in there that hold it together. Little bleed nipple on the top here that's an absolute pain to get to so what I'm, I'm trying to see if I can get at the moment there's a bit of a flexi pipe down here so you can bleed it over this end which be much either, easier than struggling up there. This bit I've, uh, I've already fitted so this is here is um, a little adapter so that bit there is a th will thread onto your clutch slave flexi pipe and this end here will clip onto there. There is a tiny little clip that you then have to feed into this slot here, but be careful with those because I've lost a few of them before now when you're trying to take it off in the car. So that one goes together like that. This is the, the pressure, pressure plate that comes with the kit. This I believe is from a Nissan Micra. Uh, and this here was bolted to is the flywheel. So this flywheel's got three holes in it for the dowels that you'll need to remove from the BMW clutch to put into here and then this will then bolt onto the BMW flywheel which we're going to show in my next video. It's got a needle roll roller bearing in the back there, it's all greased up and ready to go so it's a really nice bit of kit. The kit does not come with a uh, friction plate so you, you will need to supply your own. I don't know how easy this will be to film but I'll just show how this comes together here. I'll see that. There, yeah, like that. Where's the dowels? That way around. So that's what it should look in the car, something like that. And then your starter motor bracket will be on this side over here, like that. And all the nuts and bolts in the kit are all supplied to put it together. When you come to bolt the flywheel to the BMW flywheel, you will need to use the existing clutch bolts because they're a uh, sorry existing flywheel bolts because uh, they're a um, they're a funny size. I think they're about M7 or something like that. And also, I almost forgot. Uh, this is the what well, I've always called this the 90 degree throttle body adapter, um, but quite a lot of people uh, have been calling it the the inlet manifold adapter. So whatever you want to call it. Uh, I have shown this in one of my other videos, um, so again you've got the, the four ports here uh, with the holes in it, the injectors move from this side round to this side, you've got your takeoff here for the coolant, this is the um, uh, this is the cooler water coming out of the engine, sorry the hot water coming out of the engine going round to the front, you've got your, your four inlet seals and your coolant seal here as well. Uh, there's also a threaded insert like a, uh, there's a helicoil that comes in the kit which goes in here, that's because there's two different sides of coolant temp sensors. Um, and there's also, as you saw in the other video, 
two little brackets that come off of here to support the injector rail, okay? So that there is a very brief overview of what comes in the kit. I appreciate if uh, anyone who's already done this conversion knows what it looks like. It's to be a very boring video, but I do get asked from time to time what's in the kit. So I just thought I'd do a very brief video to show everyone. Okay, hope this helps. Thank you very much.